What's up guys, Just a Gamer here, back with another Road to Legend video. Last episode we were on a two win streak pretty easily. First opponent left after we just had an overwhelming board and you couldn't deal with it. And the second was just a well fought out match versus Warlock. But today we're up against a Druid. I'm going to full mulligan except for the Jade Claws. You never know if it's going to be Aggro Druid or Jade Druid. Jade Druid obviously isn't ideal. If you play against Jade Druid, you're going to want a crazy opener. But... If it's aggro druid, you can. I feel like I can deal with that pretty well as an aggro shaman, aggro evolved shaman. Pass on turn one makes me want to think it's it's a uh, jade druid. I'm gonna just I'm gonna coin out the primal fiend totem instead of just playing out the firefly. I feel like this puts out more pressure and kind of more value if I draw into a flame tongue totem. Also, I can just trade a little bit more efficiently if he plays anything. Innervate is a bit of a weird card to still be running, but it's just innervating into a Jade Blossom, so I'm just going to want to get a good board, hopefully draw into Primal Fin, uh, not Primal Fin Totem, Flame Tongue Totem, so I can effectively trade against his higher cost minions and then win from there. So right now it's not looking too bad. I'm obviously going to have to be wary of turn six with the uh, Spreading Plague. So hopefully this turn I draw, if I draw into a Primal Fin Totem this turn, that'd be amazing. I mean, I keep saying Primal Fin. If I keep, if I draw into a Flame Tongue Totem, that would be amazing. Put a lot of pressure. Okay, that's exactly what I needed. Just a lot of pressure onto him. So right now he has to have something to respond. Obviously, if he drew uh, a swipe, that would just completely destroy my board, except for maybe one of my totems. But no swipe. I'm putting pressure on him immensely. Swipe. Okay, not bad. Whatever. Obviously, I'm going to have to rebuild the board up, but he can't trade into the Primal Fin Totem, so I still get another 1-1, one, one, and I'll play out Chain Gang to protect the Primal Fin Totem. So, four things on the board, not bad. And I have Doppelgangster, two Doppelgangsters in my hand, so if I can get an Evolve draw pretty soon, Spreading Plague off the top on turn 6, what a god. So, if I can get a Spreading, uh, I mean an Evolve pretty soon, that'd be amazing. Think from below, not bad. I think I'm gonna hero power think from below and just kinda start taking some trades in. This obviously buys him a lot of time, which isn't amazing for me, but I feel like even though he gets more time, I can still outvalue him in the mid midish early game with the evolve and doppelgangster. So mostly I'm just waiting on drawing the evolve. Another swipe. It's pretty unfortunate. I think that was off the top as well, so it's not amazing for me. Basically, just help, helped him clear my entire board, but hopefully he can recover. Double swipe in the opening eight cards when you need them against an aggro deck is obviously what he needs and not what I need. But okay, I wanted to, I wanted a, uh, I wanted to get the spell power, but no spell power, so I'm just gonna have to. Use a J Lightning, get something on board. I'm now the only way I see this game panning out is if I can draw into an evolve pretty sh soon, like in the next two turns. Without an evolve in the next two turns, I feel like he just blows me out with late game value. So hopefully I can draw into an evolve. If also if I can get a spell power totem, that'll also be pretty effective for me. Which would be amazing. No spell power point totem. I get the thrall death here, but that's obviously not what I need right now. I might have to play out a doppelgangster just for tempo. I'm thinking about it because right now his board isn't isn't obviously too intimidating, but I need. Actually, I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna waste it. I'll put out Double Firefly and I'll Maelstrom Portal just to get another thing on board. But my hand is just so bad right now due to the fact that I don't have an Evolve. But I do have Doppelgangster. I did draw into my Death Knight, but he's going to be able to clear most of my board here. Which is not what I would want. So my Evolve, my me drawing into my Death Knight was pretty useless since I'm not going to have a board to Evolve. So I'm going to have to wait on actually drawing the Evolve card for a good turn so I can play out my Doppelgangsters. 
because Goblet Gangsters are the only way I see myself winning this game is getting some good value off of them. So I was thinking about playing him out for just tempo, but it, he would easily kill all three of them. And he his board would still basically be intact, so I feel like it was just better to flood the board, make him just make some kind of inefficient trades instead of taking six of the face or seven of the face. He now has to just kind of trade with pesky minions, which he doesn't want to. So he's going to full trade, which is what I expect. He doesn't want anything on board. Just pretty smart by him. I can just trade in here, double trade. I'm actually going to play out a doppelgangster right now, take the risk, see if it can stick on the board. If it can stick on the board, that's amazing for me, my death knight. I play out my death knight and I get a good evolve. I don't see how he's able to kill us because he wasted both swipes, maybe a, a wrath or two. Obviously, spreading plague would be annoying, but he wouldn't kill it. And he has primordial Drake. Oh my God! And most most J Druid decks don't run primordial Drake unless he's big Druid, which he definitely can be. He's probably big Druid now that I'm now that I see that card, which is not what I expected to see at all. Jesus, that was so bad. I didn't think. I thought he was J Druid. I had no idea he was gonna play that. I'm not going to play my Death Knight. I'm just going to wait for turn 10, Doppelgangster Death Knight. That would be a pretty strong turn, but it looks like he's probably going to blow me out from here. He's probably going to have a, a big 10 drop. Yeah, big 10 drop. Another big 10 drop. That was obviously not ideal for me, but I'm going to Doppelgangster Death Knight still. See what I can get. Maybe devolve him next turn. Okay, that's a low roll, but everything else was decent. So I'm not too upset. Obviously, 6-6s six for 7 drops aren't what you want. And stats, probably 7-7s seven or around there. And obviously, a 4-6 is definitely not what you want. But this wasn't too bad, so I'm not too upset. I just hopefully have to get a lot of value out of my death knight right now and hopefully draw into some, some good cards. It looks like he's setting up for another Primordial Drake. Yeah. Okay, another Primordial Drake. That's not... Honestly, that's not too bad, I don't think. I don't see how that changed too much. He just didn't have to make another trade into the the Twin Emperor, so... He gets an extra kill on a minion, but one of his, minion, one of his minions are going to die, so I'm not too upset by that. He's probably going to Hero Power and kill one of my three drops as well. Is what I'm assuming, so... I don't see how I'm going to win this now. His, his deck is just so, so large now and so much value in the late game. He was able to draw the cards he needed for the early game to clear my board and, swipe, and double swipe and spreading plague. And then he just was able to get to his late game win condition, probably win. Okay, Maelstrom Portal isn't really what I need right now. Trade into here. Evolve this. Okay, that's not a bad, it's not a bad five drop. Five six stats isn't bad. He can't really effectively trade into that with his primordial Drake. He'll be able to kill with his twelve four. I'm just, I'm just hoping that he doesn't have more dragons in hand. I could devolve it, but he would just he would get more he'd get more value off of me devolving it because he'd go from a twelve four to probably some stats of like a nine nine, and he would just be able to easily clear my board and. We really want to get it punished, so I'm just going to hope he doesn't have dragons in hand. And if he does have dragons in hand, then probably devolve next turn if I don't draw into something crazy. So, But right now, it's definitely not looking good. Okay, so he trades in. That probably means he has dragons. He has two dragons, Oxtraz and Deathwing. It's obviously not what you want to see, but hopefully I can draw some crazy card or get some crazy evolve that helps me come back and do this. But I is obviously not bad, but devolve really doesn't do too much. 
I'm just gonna maelstrom portal. He has two, nine, fourteen, sixteen, twenty-two on board. And he has efficient trades. I don't see how I win this. I'm just gonna concede. I don't have any more board players either, so okay, so against Big Druid when he had a basically a great opener to clear my board, it wasn't an easy win. I could probably could have won that if he didn't have the double the double swipe. But it's alright, I'll go into the next one. Okay, so we're going up against a rogue. I'm just going to assume it's aggro rogue. I'm going to keep the double two drop. So if he doesn't play out something on turn one, I just coin out Primal Thin Totem. Even if he does play something on turn one, I'd probably still coin out Primal Thin Totem. Have something that he has to contest. Unless he has Blood Sail Corsair, I don't see. And Patches, I don't see how coining out Primal Thin Totem wouldn't be the play. Because if he does have that, then turn two he can just... Dagger and full clear my problem with Tonum and I don't get much value out of it, but Right now just thinking about it. It's probably gonna be coin problem with Tonum And if he does have luck to Corsair patches probably just pass turn one then Jade Claws or if I draw into Firefly Put out a Firefly, but it's not the opener is not too bad Obviously thing from below isn't what you want to draw early in the game Really you want to draw it later on when you have when you've been totem and throughout the game and get good value out of it but just kind of wait on it see what i can get maybe get some good value out of it still i kept one i kept one card probably i'd assume it's a one drop or prince kelseth so double mulligan though so swash burglar patches okay so i don't know if coin i'm still gonna coin actually i'm gonna coin maelstrom portal Actually, yeah, I'm going to coin Maelstrom Portal. Then whenever he plays out on turn two, I can just Jade Claws trade. And then turn three, I can Primal Fin Totem. Or if he just Hero Power passes, I can Primal Fin Totem. So coining out Maelstrom Portal definitely seemed like the play right there. That would get me the most value and get me ahead on board. This is the only card he kept in his hand, so I'm just going to assume that it's Prince Kelsa, so I assume he'd play this. Got this off Swash Burglar. Okay, he kept the Firefly. Kept the Firefly, so he's going to double Firefly. No, he only plays out one Firefly, so I'm just going to Primal Fin Totem here. Go face. I don't find the need to trade in at hit this once, because if he trades in here... I can trade in then, or I can just Jade Claws. I don't really see the need to trade in yet. Okay, so he daggers and then doesn't trade at all with the Firefly. So now I just get good value off my Jade Claws. Jade Claws, trade. Get a 1-1. One, one. And turn, get another 1-1. One, one. Got four things on board. Decent stats to make efficient trades. And I can also... Evolve next. I can hero power evolve, which would be probably a decent play. Get me a little bit, get me some decent minions and maybe a little easier minions to trade with, or get some value trades right now with a one three or my my uh, J call and then evolve. Because since I just J call, I'm not gonna be able to play a Jade Spirit next turn or my J Lightning, so I'm either gonna have to draw into something decent like a Flame Tongue Totem. And if not, I'm probably just going to have to evolve. Or if his turn is really bad, I can just kind of keep my board. South Sea Captain, that's not drawing out anything really, so... I don't see the effect in that. That's kind of just wasting a good South Sea Captain. Even though I don't think he has too many more... Too many more Pirates in his deck though, so it's not terrible. Now that I drew Double Gangster, I'm definitely going to want to keep my evolve. So I'm just going to trade in here... Trade in there, go one face, and then let my Primal Fin Totem keep generating me value. Once you draw a Doppelgangster and you have Evolve in your hand, you're definitely not going to waste want to waste it on a smaller minions, especially when you're so close to turn six. So next turn, I can Hero Power and think from below, or just start ramping up some Jades, depending all depending on just what he plays out. And my turn six is just going to hopefully be insane. 
to the point where he can't deal with it, and I just win the game off of that. That's basically the goal right now. I'm not sure what card I'd be terrified of. He got a... Okay, he got a hammer of... I haven't even seen that card in forever. Seems like a decent card. Not something I'm too worried about, though, so... I think I'm going to hero power and think from below. He's not going to be able to he's not going to be able to kill that with the with the the weapon, which is why I want to play it so it makes an inefficient trade for his weapon. So, it's an inefficient trade for his weapon and if he does have a charger or something to help deal damage onto my 5/5, five five, he has uh he has to take 5 to the face. Okay, so he still takes 5 to the face. It plays out Cairn. That's obviously a decent card, but it's kind of low tempo. He does get the 4-2 as well. I'm not too worried about that. I am going to trade into it, though. I don't, I'm don't. i going to double things to evolve. I don't see too much value of getting two extra 2 drops when he has a 4-2 on board. That would probably be able to trade into something efficiently. So I'm now going to evolve. Okay, 5-5. Five, five. He can't destroy with Cairn. The Molt Lurker is terrible, but that's a pretty good evolve right now. So he's not going to have any way of killing the 5-5 five five unless he has Divine Spine Sp Slayer. Waste the Divine Spine on that. I s and he probably trades into the 3 two. Yeah, he's going to Divine Spine. Trades into the 3-2. I still have 11 on board with uh, Jade Lightning in hand. So that's 15. Which is pretty good. I can also just take a value trade, go face. And then Death Knight, which is what I'm going to do. Oh, I actually didn't, I completely didn't even listen to my own, what I said, and I didn't take the value trade, but it honestly doesn't matter too much. I think I might devolve the Cairn. The 5-5, five five, actually, no. I'm going to throw all deaths here first, see what I can get. I'm not going to hear power, so I can see if I still want to devolve. Obviously, the the scavenging iron is amazing, but 8 drops are insane. Okay, 8, is he if able to efficiently trade? I'm going to just... Evolve that. What? <laughs> wow, that was terrible RNG, but it's still fine. I get a Frost Morning, and I also have Jade Lightning, so I should win this game. Even if he has another Vine Spine Slayer, he Vine Spines this. He has to double trade into here. He's not really developing much onto the board. His board's getting washed, and then I still have Frost Morning and Jade Lightning, so I'm not too worried. So I think I should win this game in the next coming turns. Obviously the, the five drop two two deal five to yourself isn't what you want to see, but it's not bad. If I got a bit of a better five drop, if I got like a four four, I think I'd definitely win this game next turn. But the two two might hold me back an extra turn. Okay, he's thinking a lot. He either doesn't have Vine Spine in hand or He's just thinking how to effectively trade, but it seems like he doesn't have Vine Spine in hand, which is terrible for him. I don't think he can win this without it. Trades in here. I don't see how he wins this, unless he's going to Vine Spine this. Okay, he Bone Mirrors, but I have Devolve. So, I'm just going to Devolve. Hopefully, no taunts and just go face. Face, and that's game. So, pretty efficient win against one of the most used decks and one of the most powerful decks. He didn't have Prince Kelseth, of course, he didn't draw into it, which was unlucky by him. But still a good win. The turn 6 Doppelgangster Evolve is usually what gets you over the hill against these types of aggro decks. This is what makes you a little bit better than them, because if you can get to turn 6 and still have a decent board and have Doppelgangster Evolve, they just have no way of dealing and clearing your 3-6 drops. So I hope you guys enjoyed the win. And if you guys did, please like and subscribe, and I'm out.